Glory, fame, attention, a dream come true. They have it all, not just for people, but dogs too. For more than a century, dogs have starred in TV shows, commercials, and even movies. A dog's appearance will always be welcoming for the screen, however, the ability to follow commands is essential. Dogs must be trained to respond to the signs given by the trainer to concentrate, learn new tricks, and interact naturally with actors. Many dogs have become famous because of their talent, but only some of them, like Hachiko, were destined to be truly Hollywood stars. No one can forget the story of the Akita dog breed that waited for his dead owner every day for nine years at the train station. Based on a true story, the movie Hachi, A Dog's Tale, touched the whole world, and thanks to three furry stars, Chico, Layla, and Forrest, who played the role of Hachiko. Chico was so special that even the set trainer ended up adopting him. The movie was highly acclaimed and made more than $45 million at the box office. Lassie this is surely one of the most popular dogs in film history, and certainly one of the most profitable ones. A rough collie named Pal in reality had too much energy as a puppy, therefore his owner had to give him away to a professional trainer. He trained him to be a dog star, but it was hard to find projects on screen since collies weren't that popular back in the day. His biggest opportunity came in 1943 with Lassie Come Home. This movie became a huge hit. It made over $4.5 million at the box office. Afterwards, Pal starred in six other movies. Rin 1010. Also a star of the golden age of Hollywood, Rin 1010, who was a German Shepherd, starred in over 160 episodes of the series with his name. However, his cinemagraphic career reached the moon with Where the North Begins. The talent of this dog was discovered by his owner, the soldier Lee Duncan, who found him in the middle of a battlefield during the First World War. In 1929, this dog received the most votes for the first Academy Award for Best Actor. However, the Academy determined that only humans can hold that honor. According to the records of Warner Brothers, the movie made $396,000. This might look like a small amount, but back in that time, it was a fortune. Beethoven In 1992, a St. Bernard, the lead actor of Beethoven, became a worldwide sensation. The set trainer, Carl Miller, spent months looking for the right dog and almost gave up until he met two-year-old Chris. This dog was able to learn countless tricks in a short time. His cuteness and talent won everybody's heart to the point that the producers had to make a sequel to the films. The movie continued with the second series, but unfortunately, Chris passed away. The Beethoven film series made $147.2 million at the box office. Because of this role, the St. Bernard breed became even more popular in American families. Toto the Wizard of Oz is unforgettable for many reasons, and one of these is certainly the Cairn Terrier dog breed named Toto. Just like any other star dog, he had a joyless past. He was abandoned as a puppy, until a couple adopted him, and finally, he overcame the puppyhood trauma through training. Toto started his career with bright eyes, whereas his role in Wizard of Oz made him one of the canine stars of cinematic history. This movie had a modest financial success, however, it grew in popularity when it was released on TV, reaching up to $29.7 million at the box office. Old Yeller Based on the book with the same name, Old Yeller Movie of 1957 is traumatizing for dog lovers. The lead canine actor named Spike was adopted from a dog shelter and was a Labrador Retriever Mastiff mix. When Spike went to audition for the old yeller part, they told him he didn't look fierce enough for that role. His owner immediately started training him, and the rest is history. In no time, old yeller became a part of the American culture and earned around $6,250. Haven't seen it yet? Spoiler alert, might cry. Benji. One of the most popular canine actors of the 60s, Higgins started attracting the public's attention with his roles in TV sitcoms. This mixed breed puppy had a unique skill. He was able to deliver a broad range of emotions through his facial expression. His talent got noticed, and the trainer who worked with him for his role as Benji declared that he'd never trained a brighter dog. Higgins was able to learn two complex tricks, yawning and sneezing. This franchise turned to be his biggest success and made $45 million at the box office. Uggy. 
These recent years, the canine actor who stole all the attention from his human co-star, Jean Dujardin, is a Jack Russell Terrier dog breed. He melted the public's hearts in the highly acclaimed movie of 2011, The Artist. The film ended up winning a lot of awards, including Best Movie and the Best Actor at the Oscars. His extraordinary performance took him on every red carpet of that year and even TV shows where he demonstrated his other craft, skateboarding. Uggy won the Palm Dog Award at the Cannes Film Festival as well, and the movie ended up making $133.4 million. Hooch The Dog de Bordeaux dog breed is known for the role in his first and only movie, Turner and Hooch where he teams up with a detective starred by Tom Hanks and solves crimes together. His real name was Beasley, and he was chosen amongst 50 other dog breeds. It's said that the biggest challenge for this dog during the movie shooting was drinking beer, and the team had to replace it with chicken soup. Although this breed's lifespan goes up to eight years maximally, this canine star lived 14 years with fame and glory. Turner and Hooch is known as one of the movies with the most expensive screenplay in Hollywood history, no less than $1 million, where it made $71.1 million at the box office. Brandy Doesn't every actor dream to share a screen with Brad Pitt and even be a part of Tarantino's vision? This was all achieved by a pit bull dog named Sayuri in real life, and Brandy on screen became one of the recent stars of the cinemagraphic industry. Because of his performance, he was first awarded participant of the Once Upon a Time in Hollywood movie. He won the Palm Dog Award in the Cannes Film Festival, where Quentin Tarantino himself received the award on Sayuri's behalf. The movie made $374.6 million. Bright and glummy, it's not a surprise that these dogs were the favorite target of the paparazzi. Have you ever thought of taking your dog to an audition? Let us know in the comments.